your favorite Ambada Queen Trell. And in today's video, we will be discussing some decor styling items that are essential that everyone should have a part of their styling arsenal for styling their home. So these are items that I've found that I always constantly go back to and I use them to style every part of my home, whether it's my kitchen, bedroom, foyer, living room, you name it. Now most of these items are very affordable and also can transcend throughout different seasons, different styles, etc. And before we get into this video, I just want to give some share some personal advice for anyone who is styling or beginning to style or changing up their style, throw away any idea that you have to stick to a decor style. So if you're a minimalist, everywhere has to be minimalist. If you're a glam girl, everywhere has to be glam. If you're mid-century modern, you can mix and match styles. If you walk into a store, just get the item that speaks to you. And when you bring it into your home, everything will naturally tie together. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. This item is a vase. So everyone needs to have a vase in their home, whether it's a glass vase, a hurricane vase, a cylinder vase. So I have different vases in different colors, materials, cut sizes, shapes. I just think that vases, especially if somebody brings you like flowers, you wanna make sure you have a vase so that you can put your flowers in. But vases are also very decorative in the middle of your dining room table, as well as on your console table in your foyer or on your coffee table. So for a coffee table, I would recommend using something a little shorter than this vase, but maybe like a glass vase. And you could just pop some hydrangeas, roses in a small vase, put it on your coffee table in the middle or on a book, and you are good to go. You can get vases from Studio McGee, you can get vases from Crate and Barrel. Um, I believe that they can come in different material as well. This one isn't really a vase per se, but it is a vessel that you could actually put something in. So definitely my number one would be vases. So the second item that we are going to discuss is a catch-all bowl. So this catch-all bowl I've had um, since the springtime. It was all the rave this year in the Studio McGee line, and it's beautiful. It is marble, it's heavy, it's a beautiful color, and it's just, it's small enough where you can fit it on a nightstand, as well as your kitchen counter in your bathroom, but you can use this for anything. You could put a candle on here, store your jewelry. Right now, I currently have it on my console table in my foyer, and I actually put sage, my Palo Santo, and my crystal quartz on here. You know, as soon as you walk in, that's the first thing I see. So if I need to like burn sage really quickly, because it is a natural color and it is a natural element, this bowl can evolve with you over time. So if you have something like this wooden bowl that I got from Hobby Lobby, you have more natural elements. They can transcend throughout the seasons, transcend throughout your different styles. And I usually pull this bowl out in the winter time because it kind of gives more of like a wintry sort of feel. And I add like my dried fruit, my dried citrus, I'll add cinnamon in here. So you can definitely use these all over your home. You can add them on a book, add a candle, and they just tie a look together. So don't forget to get your catch-all bowls. Number three should come at no surprise to anyone. Candles, 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 candles. Candles is just something that ties a look together. It can tie a vignette together, um, your coffee table, and candles, not only does it look aesthetic, you also can create style with scent. So it doesn't, your style doesn't just stop at how your house looks, but also how it smells and how it feels. And candles can create that warm feeling through the ambiance of like the flame and the, the lighting. I personally like candle um, vessels that have like less going on. So it could be a beautiful vessel, beautiful color, but I love simple labels. So just something across the front. I don't like it to have like everything decorated all throughout the back, um, but just something more simple, more, because the simpler the candle is, the more it kind of looks more luxurious. This is the Rustic Palo Santo scent from Target. It's one of my favorite scents. 
It smells amazing. It has like that cedar and wood. Um, I love, love, love this scent. And I love the color that it comes in. And I do love the lid as well, this gold lid. So my next item would be cutting boards and charcuterie boards cheese boards, whatever board, just a board. <laughs> so I have boards in all different um, materials, whether it's marble. This marble board, it's heart-shaped. I picked it up from Home Goods back in February. And I think that boards kind of create a more put together look, especially on your kitchen counter. Um, by your backsplash, you can add your cutting boards there and also mix and match shapes, sizes, and not only do they look nice, but they're also very versatile. So you can use them for, again, charcuterie boards. You can use them for snack boards. And they are very, not just like a nice way to present something. So definitely add boards to your snacking objects. So for the next item, I have a low profile bowl. I think low profile bowls are beautiful as centerpieces. This bowl here, as you can see, I have some pears in here. I got this bowl from Target. It has a beautiful material and it's just like, I love the, I love the lip of the bowl. I love how it has like a little stand on the bottom and it just gives that perfect height, especially if you want to store your vegetables, your fruits, and it looks beautiful on your dining room table. So for my next item, I have this glass cloche. So this glass cloche is a cloche that I found from Hobby Lobby, very inexpensive, and it definitely pulls a candle moment together. So you could have your candle, your cloche, with your snuffer, your wig trimmer, and it'll just look beautiful. It can definitely fit other items. I actually used Last for Last Christmas. I actually put some candlesticks in here and I thought it was a beautiful touch to like my Christmas console um, decor area. So yeah, so definitely check out a candle cloche. Coffee table books. You have to invest in coffee table books. Coffee table books is a must. And as I like to say, the chunkier the book, the better the look. So you don't wanna get thin books. You wanna get something that's super chunky, or if they're not as chunky, you can pile them up like this, that I have them here. And also get books that speak to you and also tie into the theme or the color of your living room. Pick this up at Home Goods. Do not sleep on Home Goods. Home Goods has a great coffee table book collection. And I picked this up at Home Goods years ago. Still have it today on my coffee table. I do love more vibrant colored books. Book, and I also love this book. So I love coffee table books that have like some sort of striking image or, you know, vibrant color. And I use different coffee table books in my living room that I do in my foyer. In my foyer, I kept it very simple, very natural. I have Live Beautiful there and an interior design book there. But again, coffee table books. You can also corral your items on your coffee table book. If you do not have a tray on your, on your coffee table, you can add your candle, you can add your snuffer, your wick trimmer right on your coffee table book to kind of create that style and create that moment on your coffee table. So my next item would be bud vases. So bud vases come in handy, especially if you have a small corner and you wanna add like a floral stem to that vase. Sometimes you need a small styling object just to t complete a look, pull a look together. And I think that bud vases does that, especially for me around my home in little nooks around my home, in my kitchen, in my bedroom, even on my bathroom counter. I add a bud boss and it just kind of elevates the look. So bud boss is definitely it. You can get them with full florals already so that you don't have to keep switching it out, but always get something that you think that will match all around, all throughout your home. So these are some that I picked up from the Hearth and Hand line at Target back during their fall season, back during the fall season. So definitely add bud vases to your list.
And here we have risers. Now risers is an item that is often overlooked. However, if you add a riser to a flat surface, it definitely gives more height and it elevates the space. So the next items are unique objects. So those items that truly speak to who you are, that showcase your personality, these items reflect, truly reflect who I am. I love to travel and I love tropical vibrant colors. So I have little trinkets placed all over my home from different places that I've actually gone to. So when styling, don't forget to add pieces that mean something to you. Now the next item is a tray. Now I have trays all over my home in my bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. I like to mix and match different materials, whether it's wicker or brass. Trays are essential when designing your sideboard or your console table or your kitchen counter, your kitchen island. It definitely makes the space look more uniform. A few items that I wanna mention before we close out this video is a matches cloche as well as fresh florals. So the matches close, I do have one, but I have to refill it with new matches, but it is a beautiful accent, especially on your coffee table or anywhere that you're trying to create that candle moment. I will definitely link it down below so that you can take a look and maybe add a matches cloche to your objects. Next thing I wanna add, I don't have any right now, I just threw them out, but are fresh florals. There's something that fresh florals does for me personally um, when I add it around my home. It just creates that more luxurious vibe um, and it's also very therapeutic when you're making your floral arrangements, cutting the stem, adding the water, um, fixing your floral arrangements into your vase. I love fresh florals, especially during the summer and the springtime. It elevates your mood, it elevates the space. It definitely is a mood booster. So that's all for now, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And as I said before, I will try to drop as many links as I can find down in the description box. So until next time, guys.